All right, Joe was talking earlier about keeping our bodies more consistent day to day. And Joe's once again gonna be nice enough to share us his stretching routine that he does before any golf activity, whether it be hitting balls or playing golf. So, thanks, Joe. Yeah. All right, um, you know I have issues for the long and tall um, back pain. You know that's a problem if you uh, don't stretch correctly, if you don't have your body in top shape. When I was younger, I would have a lot of back issues just going straight to the range and hitting balls. So before I, you know, go to the range hit balls, before I warm up to play around. I like to stretch out my back. Um, and the best way to do that, from what I've heard, and the best way that works for me is to make sure your, your hamstrings are um, loose and ready to go. And that really helps the lower back, um, takes the pressure off your lower back when you're playing golf. So the best way um, that I've learned, I've learned a few stretches. Um, one that's really neat, that really works for everybody. You know, if uh, it's, I can put my foot up this high, some people will have to start a little lower. You know, you could even use this side of the chair and do it this way. And I'll show you this banner. You put your foot up. And the key to this stretch is you're trying to stretch your hamstring. So you want everything to be really tight. You want your knee to be ex completely extended. Your toes straight up in the air. Another key is your right foot, your opposite foot. Your opposite foot should have your toe pointed in this, straight away, straight on your body line. And that way, it. Uh, doesn't let you cheat through the stretch. When you do is you take your opposite hand to the leg that you have up, wrap the towel around their toe, hold it with the opposite hand, and what I like to do, there's a couple different things you can do. What I like to do first is I just pull back the toe and I hold it. You can, I'm not very flexible, but you can get your body further close down your foot, but I hold it for an account of 10. And then that next thing I like to do, loosen yourself a little bit, then I like to get tight again, hold it, and I like to go one, two, three, all the way to ten. And then the third thing you can do with this stretch while you're in the same position is you can take your opposite hand, put it straight out, and you can do this. This is going to stretch a little bit part of your lower back while your hamstring is getting stretched as well. And you can when you're done with that, you just cool. do the same thing on the other side. Nice.